Virunga is Africa's oldest and largest national park. It's also home to over 50% of the animal species that can be found on the continent. But at the same time, it's one of the most conflicted and dangerous places on Earth. I'm Mark Vins, and for the last seven years, I've been no stranger to risk. The journey to four billion views on the Brave Wilderness YouTube channel has been filled with countless daring adventures that have tested our limits and forged our courage. But now I've come to one of the harshest regions on Earth, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And I'm exploring Virunga National Park to see how people are fighting to rewild the world's second largest rainforest. There are militia units below us and they're hostile to the park, so they would fire at us. Emmanuel Damerode is the director of Virunga National Park, and he's pioneering vital solutions for this area, despite some very real threats. So this uh, we're starting to get into uh, much more of a militia controlled area here. Up to about here, it's the FDLR militias, and then further north, it's these Mai Mai Congolese militias, who historically have been very, very violent. When it comes to the rebel groups and the militias, why did they choose Virunga? Why are they here? You know, it's the civil war in Congo, then the Rwanda genocide that brought them here. But what's kept them here is the illegal trafficking of natural resources in the east of Congo, in particular Virunga National Park. So there you see, you'll see some charcoal burning. Yep. There are thousands of acres of forests that have been cleared for charcoal, and it's really the main source of revenue for those militias. For decades, rebel groups and armed militias have pillaged Virunga's forests. Illegal logging and sale of charcoal that's used for life's most essential needs has been the root of the problem. This $40 million a year black market has taken an incredible toll on this environment and its wildlife. So what can be done to solve these problems? What we desperately need is clean energy, renewable energy, not oil and not charcoal. And where is this renewable energy solution taking place? What we call run of river power plants. So they have a very small impact on the environment so they can generate a lot of power. These hydroelectric power plants that Emmanuel and his team have built offer renewable energy to the people who need it the most and many of them are already benefiting from having electricity for the very first time. The result is a slowdown in demand for charcoal that's devastated the biodiversity of this ecosystem. By saving species and creating renewable energy solutions, Virunga National Park is helping reverse the effects of climate change. And to support these heroic men and women who are fighting for the future of our planet and risking their lives every single day, I am joining forces with Rewild.org and embarking upon a mission to discover how we can make an impact together and turn conservation into action. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, but what I can tell you is this is about to be the most intense adventure of my entire life.